Hey everyone, Brad from Circling the Drone here. I just want to do a quick video. The Autel Sky app has just been released. Uh, you can see that up in my uh, my home screen there at the upper uh, left-hand corner there. Autel Sky, this will be for the new Evo Nano and the Evo Lite. So let's go into this app and you can see right here, it gives you a little tutorial about what's going on here. So you click here to view surface interface function information understood so you have your long press and scroll to take off so yeah here's the uh, new interface for the Autel Sky app which will be used with the uh, the Nano and the Light series which should be coming out shortly hopefully since this is uh, now out let me hit the uh, home button there. Okay, the home button there, that takes you back here. Born to Explore. Um, you have your album. Of course, I don't have any anything there yet. Skill Center. I'm guessing this is going to show, like, uh, well, I don't know what's going to show. It's all, it's all white now. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, Personal Center. This is where you would log in with your Autel your Autel ID, which I did try to do already. I tried to log in with my Autel ID, but uh, there have been a lot of changes at Autel lately, so I don't know if my ID is not any good anymore. So we'll get out of this. So if you go into start, this will take you into the main interface. This is where be, uh, you'll be changing your uh, settings for your drone and your, your FPV and all that good stuff. Uh, you can see over here on the right you can do hyperlapse, pano. Looks like there's four different uh, pano, spherical, wide angle, landscape, portrait, uh, pro. I'm guessing that's uh, pro settings. Do a hyperlapse, hyperlapse orbit, a hyperlapse manual, video. Of course, I can't get any like settings or anything that because I'm not really hooked to a drone or anything. So. Uh, photo, portrait, and quick shots. Okay, so quick shots you have flick, fade away, rocket, and orbit. Um, so like, oh yeah, like on the uh, left hand side you have your takeoff button. Uh, looks like your angle for your gimbal, your maps. You have your uh, little compass there. I wonder if I can get in the settings up here. Oh yeah, there we go. So you have your safety menu here. Uh, you know, probably start it off in novice mode, and you can change your altitude, your uh, distance, return to home altitude, home point, uh, your calibrations, battery info. Locate my drone advanced settings. Let's see what's under there. Uh, obstacle avoidance sensor. Uh, bottom light. LEDs. You can change your LEDs. Uh, that's cool. So go into control. You can change your uh, units and metric imperial. Uh, change your command stick mode. Do an RC calibration, gimbal mode, gimbal adjustment, gimbal calibration, uh, camera settings, SD card, internal memory, you can format those, you can enable audio during uh, recording, video buffering during recording, there's your grids, <clears throat> you can change your photo formats, video formats, encoding. Uh, download size, defog, there's that defog, uh, anti-flicker, and also a reset at the bottom, the image transmission, uh, you have three different settings there, smooth HD and 2.7K, uh, frequency would be auto, so it would go maybe between 5.8 gig and 2.4 gig, and then about, uh, so you see the app version is 1.0.25, and then if you do have your aircraft hooked up, 
uh, that's where all that good stuff would be. So, yeah, the uh, Autel Sky app out now. Uh, so hopefully that means that the drones will be coming out pretty soon. I do have the Nano Plus and the Light Plus both on pre-order, so hopefully they'll be coming soon. So again, I just want to do a quick overview on this. Um, the Autel Sky app from Autel for the new uh, drones. Again, it's Brad from Starting the Drone. Take care, guys. Bye.